glad to have you join us on this edition of Tech Trends, reaching you from the co-creation hub here in Yaba, Lagos. Our guest is a startup that has built a digital platform that will allow you to place adverts easily. Our tech tip is four reasons why you should use the .ng domain name. We have much more lined up for you, but first, some tech news and updates. I am Chukomeka Agbata. Welcome to the show. According to a study conducted by Partech Ventures, $560 million in venture capital funding was invested in African startups in 2017. That's an increase of 53% from $366.8 million in 2016. This research points to the fact that the African startup scene is getting global attention. The city of Lagos appears to be the shining star for startups in Nigeria, but many have argued that the searchlight ought to be beamed on those outside the city of Lagos as well. It is to this end that a non government organization called Startup Arewa makes an effort to bring together startups and other experts from various parts of the north. People tend to think that uh, companies, bigger companies, will take over something that belongs to you or. The theme of the event is building a competitive tech and media ecosystem in northern Nigeria. Um, point. I think the point about why you want to move from, say, Kano to Abuja. Experts at the gathering argue that there has been a carefully thought out policy for supporting startups. We have a lot of young people with a lot of smart ideas. Uh, we have seen them all over the place. They are spread in. Um, colleges of education, polytechnics, universities, but the moment they start, um, they give up and uh, very often they get uh, frustrated because uh, there is no national policy on it and there is no community orientation and support towards supporting these young people to explore some of these ideas and grow them to a level that uh, they can start producing something that is tangible, something that they can be able to rely on and something that can make them to be productive members of the society. So I think the absence of community and um, policy orientation towards this is the one that is the major uh, militating factor. A session of the discussants believe that the northern part of the country also has good potential for startups to grow and that collaboration should be encouraged as much as possible. The key to this is celebrating ourselves a bit more, just so that we can get more visibility um, in the space of those that should be paying attention to. Um, on the um, column, it said that entrepreneurs should not be afraid. And part of not being afraid is not to just localize ourselves here, but to also interact with our friends and uh, brothers in, and sisters in Lagos so that we can uh, you know, uh, build together as well. The collaboration is not just internal collaboration, but also collaboration across our respective States. There's a need for startups to change their mindset to believe that they can do everything themselves, rather find ways of leveraging existing platforms, existing infrastructure when, where such exists, as well as looking for pe black-minded people to partner with. You know, this whole idea of solo founder, it really has its risk and disadvantages. So find a co-founder look for existing platforms to leverage and, and use the limited resources you have available and channel it into your product rather than building things that are already there. The importance of getting more women into the technology ecosystem is also emphasized. I think that when it comes to being a woman in technology, um, we need to see other examples and know that we can do it. Um, and there are examples out there. Um, so even though the numbers are small, we can still um, take pride and take lessons from those that are out there. So females are like very strong. They know what they're doing. They're very capable. They just need that opportunity. So if you can extend a hand to someone else, show them the ropes, um, I think your businesses and your startups will only benefit from that. The convener hopes that more of this gathering of the northern tech ecosystem should be encouraged. We've identified hub founders and also tech founders to come together and also media bloggers who are doing a lot in the media sector but we want them to come together so that we can be able to have one strong voice among ourselves. We need the media to amplify our voices because we know that a lot of content are going out there, a lot of people are innovating 
some disruptive solutions who are there but dying down, no message out there. So we need the media to come there so that they can take the message out there. One important element of entrepreneurship development is the collaboration with the academia.